Thank you. Well, it's very nice to be back. Um, I'm a little bit older now, old enough to go clubbing, which is difficult as a sober disabled person, because all I get is people coming up to me going, Jack, are you drinking? I have to go, no, mate, this is just how I walk normally. <laughs> Although, my favorite part about going out in actually the drinking is taking my walking frame onto nightclub dance floors and watching people trip over it. but I do pray that it does happen quite a bit. <laughs> I do get out and about a bit. I like going to the football, um, you know, watching, not playing, obviously. <laughs> but I'm, I, I could never be a Liverpool fan because I sit in the disabled section and I couldn't imagine being sat in the disabled section and having to listen to 70,000 people sing, you'll never walk alone. <laughs> No, I do, I do like some sport, though. Last year, I learned to ski. I can see a few of you thinking, can northerners go skiing? <laughs> we can, although my skiing instructor had much the same reaction as you lot when I rocked up in the walking frame. He was like, what, you? Really? Does he know he's disabled? Has anyone sat him down and told, well, they're not going to stand him up, are they? That would be <laughs> counterproductive. But I did, right, I learned to ski, and uh, most people would be thinking, as the wind was flowing through the hair and the snow was crunching underneath their feet, most people would be thinking, what a fantastic achievement that is against all the odds. I thought, oh no, I'm gonna lose some benefits. <laughs> The goggles still came in handy when I had to look at Simon Cowell's teeth up close. <laughs> six years um, since I was on the show, I look six years older, which is funny, cos Amanda and Alicia look ten years younger. Oh, thanks, Jack. I'm sure, I'm sure they would frown at that joke, but the Botox won't allow it. Never had it! Sorry. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ooh, cheeky. 
I think getting old is fine as long as you keep learning. For example, the other day I learned that the universe is expanding at a rate of 3.3 million light years per second. So it'll still never catch up with the rate at which David Williams publishes children's books. <laughs> This has been um, absolutely lovely. I've got to say, the first time round, you know, the reaction to my performance was uh, pretty overwhelming. So I've got to say thank you to that, firstly. And, um, and then secondly, you know, the reaction on social media has always been pretty good. I prefer Facebook to Twitter because I would rather get a happy birthday message from someone who didn't mean it than a death threat from someone who did. It's <laughs> <laughs> been absolutely lovely and it's nice to be back. Britain's Got Talent winner George Sampson was told by doctors today that due to a back injury, he may never be able to dance. <laughs> enough to be runner-up on Britain's Got Talent. I was just eight years old. At the time, I thought that magic was all about shocking and fooling people. But since then, I've realised it's about so much more. It's about inspiring kids like me to be more confident and to make adults feel like children once again. Aww. Tonight, I want to do something that hopefully will show you that magic can be inspirational as well as amazing. Over the past two years, I've been lucky enough to travel the world thanks to Britain's Got Talent. And during that time, I've taken photos with my family to remind me of the fun times that I've had. Some truly amazing memories. Fun times with my mum. First time getting on an aeroplane. Sneaking backstage into Simon's dressing room without him knowing. Sorry, Simon. No worries. <laughs> Walking our dog, Hoover. Sometimes the simplest things can be the best. You get the idea. Simon, please touch the back of any one of my photos. Any one at all? Any one at all. Uh, I'm going to choose that one. That one? Yeah. Hang on. That one there. That one? That one. OK. Yeah. I'd like you to look at it and hold it close to your heart. But not show you? No, don't show anyone. Oh. And hold it close to your heart. We'll come back to that in a minute. Okay. 
I've been so lucky to experience these incredible things. So tonight, out of nothing, I'd like to try to create a positive message for everyone. If I can do that, then there really would be magic. Look how tiny she looks on that big tiny. tape. Tiny. forever. This one's for you, Hoover. Wow, can you see that? Sunrise tonight, we can fall. Stay with me. 